hello everyone welcome back and thank you for watching in today's video i will be making some large fall home decor diys so i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you do please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to hit the notification bell button so you can get notified every time i upload with that being said now let's craft From Dollar Tree, I will be using two large wood leaves, one large wood pumpkin, and this grateful galvanized sign that I removed from a pumpkin that I will show you later on. Starting with the leaves, I painted both of them with the Waverly Antique Wax. Now, because I'm going to glue the pumpkin on top of the leaves, I am not painting this part of the leaves. And for the pumpkin, I will be mixing two different colors the Waverly chalk paint and the color ivory and this white chalk paint which I accidentally added way too much but I did fix that by just putting it back in the bottle for the stem I use whatever was left over on the sponge and now I'm going to add some details to the pumpkin which I mix a little bit of white chalk paint and some antique wax And so far this is how it looks I did add a little bit more and made it a little bit darker I tried to add some white to the leaves which I kind of liked and I left them like that until the end I will be changing that and then just go over it with the antique wax which you're gonna see at the end I think it looks so much better the next step is to glue the pumpkin on the leaves. Now I used a lot of hot glue and that's the only thing I use. But if you feel like you need extra support, you can add popsicles to the back. The last thing I will be doing is adding the grateful sign with a green bow. I forgot to mention, I did add small little popsicle sticks to the back of the big leaves just to cover the little holes that it has. But that is it for this beautiful grateful large sign. Before I continue on my next project, go visit DIY with Aria. She has some more fall decor DIYs. She is so talented and she is so nice. So let's help her grow her channel. The next project is actually my favorite. I'm using three different shapes of these Dollar Tree pumpkins. As you can see, the orange one had the grateful sign and that is what I use on my first DIY. So I'm going to remove the tags and all of the little jute twine hangers and then I'm going to paint them one by one. Starting with the pumpkin I'm going to use for the bottom. I actually got this last year but Dollar Tree right now is carrying so many different pumpkin shapes that you can use instead. Now this ribbon right here is the green I was trying to go for. So I mix a whole bunch of greens and I try to get that color. And look how close I got to the color now I'm going to paint the pumpkin and then after it dries I'm going to go over it using the white 
not the white chalk paint, sorry, the Waverly chalk paint in the color Moss. Using the leftover paint, I'm going to distress it and that is it for the second pumpkin. I'm going to paint it using a little bit of the Waverly chalk paint in the color ivory and some white chalk paint. For the third pumpkin, I'm going to remove this blessed sign, which I thought it was going to be easy like the grateful sign, but it wasn't. So I had to remove a little bit of the paper. Good thing I'm using the back. So now I'm going to paint this pumpkin orange, but this color orange from the Waverly chalk paint and the color pumpkin was way too bright. So I'm using different browns to just tone it down. And this is also going to make it look more like a brown orange color, which I absolutely love this color this turned out. Now, once it was like semi dry, I grabbed some of the Waverly Antique Wax and distressed the pumpkin, which I absolutely love how this turned out. The only stem I will be painting is the pumpkin that I'm going to use at the top, which is this orange one. So I'm going to use a dark brown. And look how beautiful these pumpkins turned out. And I'm going to leave them plain. You are more than welcome to add anything to them. But I decided not to. So I'm going to start gluing these together. I'm going to glue the white pumpkin a little bit on top of the green one. And before I add the orange on top of the white, I'm going to use a little bit of antique wax. And just dress all the edges of the white pumpkin and add more details to it. As you can see, I'm only using hot glue now. I felt like mine were pretty sturdy, but you can definitely add like a large popsicle stick on the back if you feel like yours is too flimsy. And look how beautiful this large topiary turned out. Now to finish it off, I decided to add some greenery and a bow, which I honestly made this little floral pick using different fall florals that I already had. The next thing I will be doing is gluing the floral pick, but before I glue it, I'm going to add a larger stem, which I use a large popsicle stick. I cut it in half, painted it brown, and added it to the back, which I know kind of looks funny, but once I add the floral pick and the bow, it looks so much better. And that is it for this beautiful large fall home decor. Now, if you want to hang this to your wall, you can always add the little string back. For my next project, I will be using these Dollar Tree items. Two of these wood hanging decor, this gather together sign, and this floral pick. The first thing I'm going to do is cut off the little part where the holes are at. Now, if you have some wood filler, you can just add some wood filler and that is it. Once I'm done cutting these, I'm going to glue the two planks together using some large popsicle sticks. You can honestly add as many as you like. Now I'm going to just flip it around and paint it using the Waverly Antique. This gather sign has this little cone basket 
that I cannot pronounce the name, but I'm going to remove it using some scissors. I'm using the Senshi to smooth it out. Then I'm going to paint the sign using some white chalk paint. Using a little bit of white chalk paint, I'm going to distress the sign, then add the gather together. Instead of using the Dollar Tree floor pick, I'm using this one that I got from Walmart, which was a dollar and 38 cents. I'm going to just bend the stem a little bit and then glue it to the corner using some hot glue. To cover the stem, you can use a bow or a leaf. And that is it for this beautiful gather sign. And these are the things I will be using for my next project. Everything I got it from the Dollar Tree except the lamb's ears. Those I got them from Walmart. So this large sign that I'm using is from Christmas. And this is actually from last year. Right now Dollar Tree is carrying some from fall and Halloween. So you can use either or. You're not going to be able to see what's underneath it. I'm going to start by gluing these Dollar Tree burlap leaves. One on each corner. And then using some of this floral foam, I'm going to cut three small pieces and then add them to my sign. I will be using two different maple leaf picks. One that it's a little bit lighter and one that is darker. So I'm going to start by gluing each leaf here and there. The easiest way to add the leaves is to leave them on the stem and just cut the stem smaller and then use that to add them to the foam. So because I remove all the leaves first, I did is I used one of the stems and cut a whole bunch of little different pieces, then added the leaves back on there, then just add them to the foam, which that was so much easier. Once I am done adding all the leaves, I am going to add some of these little picks to the pumpkins and then add the pumpkins on top of the foam, which I did use a little bit of hot glue so they can stay in place. But the best part is that you can remove these and use these pumpkins for something else. I almost forgot the limbs ears, but this is how I added them. I did remove some leaves and added them to each side to even it out. To finish it off, I'm going to add a bow to the middle pumpkin, but that is it for this beautiful pumpkin centerpiece. And that is it guys i hope you guys have enjoyed today's video don't forget to go check out aria's channel i'll have her link down in the description box so thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already oh and one more thing don't forget to let me know which one was your favorite because i would love to know 
Until next time, bye.